What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're going to talk about how I've been able to play the game for free ever since the WoW token was introduced to the game back in WAD. And all of these tactics and methods that I use is of course located inside the 0 to 10 million gold guide. So if you don't have that already, make sure to use the discount code STUDENT for 50% off. And just know that every single update that I do to the gold guide is completely for free, for life. So whenever the War Within comes out, I'm going to update the gold guide with the best ways of acquiring gold in that expansion. And I'm sending that updated version directly to your mail completely for free. And I know a lot of you guys watching these videos already have the gold guide. I really do appreciate that. And if you enjoy it, you're definitely going to enjoy the VIP Discord as well. It's pretty much like a Patreon where you support me as a content creator, but you also get a bunch of exclusive content. So you get to watch all my YouTube videos before they go public on YouTube, but you also get access to gold tips, investments, spreadsheets, and much more. So you'll also find that in the description. Now, the main method of being able to play the game for free is uh, through Transmog. I know that's really strange for a lot of people because a lot of people attempt to make gold with Transmog and they can't get it to work. And I always uh, use an example uh, to help understand why they can't make gold with Transmog. So uh, the uh, most frequent thing is people claim that cannot sell Transmog. Well, Transmog sells slowly. So it's very normal to have an item... Uh, and that item only sells on average every 100 days. Like, on average, it's going to take you 100 days to sell that one transmog item. Now, if you have 100 transmog items that sells on average every 100 days, you should get a sale daily, right? On average. Now, if you have 500 items, you should get five sales a day sold on average. If you got a thousand, you should get 10 sales a day. And that's how it works, where naturally you will have a bunch of items that sells more frequently than every 100 days as well. And uh, it's pretty much a volume game. You need to have a lot of variety on the auctions and a lot of transmog. And that is what the uh, Sarah, the 10 million gold guide goes through. Like, by all means, not only that, but that's like a small section of the gold guide how to fill up your auction house uh, so you can get guaranteed the daily sales on Transmog. Now, uh, the majority of the gold on my Transmog cleanouts, depending on the week, but most of the time it's from crafted Transmog. So it takes some time and some gold investments to uh, basically get to the point where uh, you can just guarantee yourself that you will make enough gold even weekly uh, to uh, buy WoW tokens. Uh, but then some weeks I always sell, also sell like a lot of farmed transmog, uh, with, where the, the farm transmog is a bigger portion than my crafted transmog. But the crafted transmog, super steady gold. Now, I recently came back to retail after playing a lot of SOD, so my auction house is not optimal, and I did slack on posting this week. For context, I only post... Uh, my auction's up for 48 hours, no undercuts whatsoever. And then once the auctions expire, I just repost them whenever I have the time to repost them. So I could obviously be making way more gold if I posted more frequently, like 12 hours or uh, even did undercut scans. But it is what it is. So 258 auctions sold on this bank tune. This bank tune is doing green, blue, and epic transmog. So uh, you see... I'm selling items like this one, which is a crafted mount, but it's not like I'm making 63,000 gold profit. Like, the vendor materials alone are 60k. Uh, you have a bunch of ice paint sales right here, which is crafted. You have some skeletal longsword, which is one of the uh, 1017 items that got removed from the game. Super easy to get. And every now and then you sell items like this, like the heavy copper longsword for 2,000 gold. It is almost free to craft so that's one of those really decent sales some more crafted right here 11k sickle axe dark iron black dragon scale all crafted dawn of demise nax ramas blacksmith crafting i sold another amount this time for uh, a bit more luckily primordial from idol of thunder that's also farm the transmog Another amount for 66.5 this time. But 352,000 gold in the first 100 auctions is really good. It really is. But like 180k of that is just vendor uh, materials to be able to craft those. So uh, keep that in mind. 
Now, most other trans smokes are really cheap to craft. Uh, let's see how it looks on the next 100 auctions. 131,000 gold. You see, it, it is really, truly a volumes game. Look at all these low sales, these sub-1,000 gold sales. I mean, all of these adds up. There's some bigger ones right here. Raven Guards boots from the Aqua Feather bag for 20k. But mainly just low sales. Reef Walker boots, that's a good sale. 30,000 gold from those. That's a Nasiatar BFA uh, Zone Drop item. So those are really good. And then I also had two lucky sales because I reset the market on Shadow Le uh, Letter Leg Armor where they went from like 100 gold each and I reset them to like 3,000 gold each. And I, I did sell two of them before the prices uh, plummeted again, but that was worth it. Definitely. It was, a cheap, uh, it was a cheap reset. But all those small sales adding up to 131,000 gold on the next 100 auctions... And now we're going to take a look at the last 50 auctions before we log over to my next transmog tune, which only sells gray and white transmog. So, last 51 auctions, 71,000 gold, fills the log blade, horrible price. It is what it is. Uh, nothing else worth mentioning. Like, there's nothing cool on this list. But uh, now we can take a look and see what the, uh, the total amount of gold is from uh, this bank tune. And that was. Let's see, 555,000 gold on uh, on this bank tune. I'm, I mean, I'm happy with that. I usually get like five to 700,000 gold uh, per week on this realm. I do post auctions on uh, other realms as well. Only crafted though, and sometimes I move like high value transmog that I farmed. If I farm them on my main realm, Arch at Dawn, and if they have a shitty price, I will move it to one of the other realms and sell it there instead. But, um, uh, yeah, usually between five to seven hundred K a week, uh, like before I took a break to play SOD. Now that I'm still building up the auction house again, it's really cool to see that I'm still doing over 500k. And I expect it to just keep on going up, hopefully, as I fill up the auction house again. Now, on this tune, only 39,000 gold. Uh, I mainly sell the crafted Shadowlands base legendary items. And then a couple of very specific transmog items, like the Rusted Pitchfork. Very easy to farm. I have a Death Knight in the zone, just ready to farm those bad boys. There's also some 1017 removed uh, white items that I'm selling every now and then. Uh, but 40,000 gold in that one, so roughly 600,000 gold on Transmog on this realm this week. Pretty good. Definitely allows me to play the game for free every single month and then some. So with that being said, though, that's pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to check out the uh, Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide, but also the uh, VIP Discord, which are both linked in the description down below. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then... Bye-bye.